Hello there YouTube, um, this will just be a quick video of proper nitro engine disassembly. Um, I've been asked about this for quite a while, so I figured I'd do it real quick. Um, I've already taken out three of the top head screws and three of the uh, bottom, but uh, this will just give you guys a good uh, reason for it, or uh, sorry about that, a good just so you guys know. So first you want to take out the top screws. You don't there's not necessarily a sequence. But you want to do all four at the same time. Um, you want to break loose them all at the same time. You want to just break this one loose, break this one loose, break this one loose, and then break this one loose, and then take them all out because it takes pressure off each side which can damage the block same with down here um, you'll typically need for most engines a 2.5 wrench for the top head and a uh, 2.0 for the bottom I just take out this bottom screw right here so you want to undo the four top uh, where your button is I'm sorry I'm doing this one handed that's how I took out three of them before and I knocked them all loose but um you want to take your head off and sometimes your button this is your button right here that holds your glow plug sometimes your button will come off with the head and uh, sometimes it won't like this this engine it don't but uh, with this engine sometimes this is really hard to get off because so I'm just gonna twist the crank and hopefully my sleeve will pull it up yeah um, also to get your sleeve out this engine still has a lot of life left, so the sleeve sticks to the button like so. So the sleeve comes out really easy on this engine. Um, but normally, to get your sleeve out, uh, to get your sleeve out, you have a lot more trouble. And uh, the easiest way to do it is um, to get like a zip tie. And give me a minute here. Let me get this. All right. The easiest way to do to get your sleeve out is first, um, you get, you take the. I have a rubber thing on. I'm not gonna take it off. But you get a zip tie and you stick it through there and you bring it through the top. This is with your head off. And then with your piston in, you twist the crank, and uh, that zip tie will pull up the sleeve enough for you to get like a flat head underneath this area right here. And you can just kind of pry it, go around and just slowly pry it up. Don't be real rough on it, but just be really, um, just be patient. Because these engines aren't cheap. Um, right now I'm taking off the back plate for the crank, the lower part. Um, sometimes this can be a little hard. Alright, so that's how you pop that off. You have a seal on there, so sometimes it's kind of hard. And if you're having trouble, you have to move your piston because your piston goes around there. So, uh, yeah. And you always want to put it on like a clean piece of paper. I'm just using the the sheet for right now. And then to get your piston out, as you can see right here, um, a lot of people say use grab it with like uh, needle nose pliers, but you can get your finger in there and just pull it off your piston will fall right out. Um, I don't know why the people grab it with needle noses. Sometimes uh, it's a little tight, but normally you can always grab it with your finger, which is a lot safer than grabbing it with needle noses because you can scratch it. But um, here's your piston. This is what a typical nitro engine piston looks like. Um, this is what your typical sleeve or Depending on the ports, this is what your typical sleeve looks like. Um, and your combustion is basically your piston goes in here and just goes up and down, creating igni ignition or ignites with the glow, the glow from the plug. That's why normally your engine will flame out a lot if your plug is bad because there's no ignition um 
these right here, these copper things, those are your head shims. Make sure you read your manual, seeing if you have to put a certain amount in for break-in, etc. But going on back to the block, um, now that you have your rear part out, you can just push your crank through by pushing on the front where your flywheel is supposed to go. And that's how you get your crank out. Normally that's all all the pressure you have to do is just use your index finger and it will normally slide right through. This is your crank. Um, this is a stock. This is a uh, a lot of stock engines are like this. They don't have the epoxy crank or nothing but this is what your typical crank looks like. So um, that said guys this is how you disassemble an engine and you reassemble it the same way. Just make sure wherever you put your sleeve in you always put the you put the piston in first. Then whenever you go to put the sleeve in, make sure you put the sleeve in the right way with the notch. That little notch right there. With the block. And then always put this part, the notch and the piston, forward because it clears your crank. That said guys, that's how you disassemble an engine. Hope this helped and have a good day.